Hi guys! Sorry for the rough lookingness. I it's really late. It's 11:04 right now. So I just wanted to do my quick 20 and 21 update. I missed my 19 week update because it was boring and there was absolutely nothing that went on. It was a waste of time to even make, so I just skipped it because I wanted to spare everyone's time. So, for um sorry. For my 20 weeks um it was the beginning of my uh, back pain, the beginning of my nausea getting worse, and I don't know if it's because of a sickness that was going on in uh, going around in my family, but my nausea was getting worse, and um, I had a little bit of breast tenderness, and my belly was sort of starting to pudge out a little bit more. She was definitely starting to kick more, but it wasn't anything, um, it wasn't anything to too crazy, too unnoticeable. It was sort of boring, just like my uh, 19 weeks were. Hey, not much really happened, and I believe I was 20 weeks. T no, no, no. Yeah, so 20 weeks was pretty much boring. 21 weeks. Bill. Okay, so for my 20, my 21 weeks is when everything sort of started happening because at that time it was 4th of July and um, my baby belly was really popping out. Now it's um, it's popping out a lot more than it did and um, it was 21 weeks was a little more exciting because I knew I had an appointment coming up which was July 7th. Yeah, July 7th I had an appointment and it was just to check up on my baby's heart because when we first got her ultrasound they found a little bit of calcium buildup in her heart and they said it wasn't really nothing uh, too serious because usually in women in their 30s or over who have uh, babies with calcium buildup is when uh, it's a little bit more uh, common for their babies to have uh, Down syndrome I believe but because I am so young and then they tested my levels of uh, what my possibility of having a baby with Down syndrome would be, I was at the the least you could be. So they weren't too concerned, but I was still a little nervous for that appointment because it's telling me what's going on with my baby, and obviously we all want our babies to be perfect little bundles of joy. So we went to that appointment, and that appointment was on the 7th, like I said, and everything was great. She was very healthy. Um, her calcium buildup was still in there, but I have a follow-up appointment when I am 30 weeks just to make sure that everything is perfect, everything is fine. Um, but yeah, they really said she's fine. Uh, her spine, everything is perfect the way it should be. She was very, very active and very, like, jumpy and crazy like she normally is um she's very active in the womb anyway but in my 21 weeks that was pretty much the only thing that we were really looking forward to and um i was still having very bad nausea um i was starting to get a lot of discomfort during the end of my 21 weeks going into what i am now 22 weeks so i'm gonna say the last day the last two days of my 21 weeks is when my back pain started. I started having a lot of back discomfort, which I'm having now, which I'll follow up more in my 22 week update. But I had a lot of back pain. Um, my belly has just been stretching. I have one stretch mark, which is horrible. You can't see it though, but it's the place where I was sort of scratching because I knew that my pants would cover it up a little bit. So I'm not too... Uh, angry about that because it's not out there in the open so far but I'm still putting on lotions and everything like that trying to prevent as much as possible but my husband's like don't worry you're having a baby uh, there, it's just because you have a little baby growing inside of you should be happy and for the most part I really don't care but I'm like oh I don't want to get too crazy because what woman wants a roadmap on their belly 
but <laughs> um, I've got my appetite. Oh my gosh, I've got a huge appetite now. My whole pregnancy, even when I first found out I was pregnant, sorry, my hair, even when I first found out I was pregnant, I had no appetite. It was really like, I had a worse craving. I had worse cravings and everything when I was PMSing. And I was having none, but now that I am in my 21, well, I'm 22 weeks now, but it started probably at the end of my 20 weeks going into my 21 weeks, I was just, oh my gosh, I'm so hungry all the time. Which is good because that means that she's growing, but it's still kind of like, dang, you know, I had to sort of ease up a little bit. Um, my pre-pregnancy weight was 130 pounds. I've always been, ever since I can remember, in the 130s. Um, that's, I mean, I've never looked like a fat girl. It's just, like, I know, I hope that doesn't sound wrong. Because for some women, 130 could look really big or really small. And I was more on the smaller side. A lot of people didn't know I was 130 pounds. Because girls who were, pro, who were my height and looked about my weight were always, like, 120, 118. So... Yeah, I've always been in the 130s, but my pre-pregnancy weight was 130, and now I'm 151 pounds. That is insane. That's the most I've ever weighed in my life. But I don't look it. I don't look like I'm 151 pounds, which is fine to me because everyone's like, here I still look the same. You look the same. Your thighs look the same. The only thing that I could say is sort of my hips have sort of opened a little bit, which I know after I have my baby, she'll... Um, She'll, they will sort of close. Um, so other than that, I think that's pretty much all the changes in my body um, for this week anyway. I've just got that one stretch mark and um, that weight gain is insane. That's the most I've ever weighed in my life. So <laughs> that's pretty crazy. But other than that, um, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much all that happened. Um, I think I'll do my belly shot now. She moves like crazy too. And sorry for the rough outfit. I really, I literally just put on makeup and left whatever I was wearing. And my hair looks pretty bad. I swear I'll never look this bad again. <laughs> but this is my belly. So she's poking out a lot more. And it's getting a lot more round. And like I said, my back is hurting a lot more. Because I am not used to having this much weight on me at all. And this is my belly in the front. That was from my belly ring. And from the side. And you could sort of see like it was pulling right there. It's pretty crazy. But... Yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, cravings, I haven't been craving anything specific. I'm just hungry for anything. And um, yeah, so other than that, um, that's pretty much all that's been going on with my pregnancy. If you guys have any questions, just leave a comment below. And like and subscribe, and I'll be back with another video. And if you have any suggestions, just comment them down or even inbox me as well. So yeah, I hope you guys have a nice week. Bye.